um, like what you said about the Quran being a fairy tale, right? That's inflammatory yeah, no, statement. No, no, no. no, no. That, as a, that was as inflammatory, a, however, was that not friendly and polite to yourself? No, absolutely. Does that make sense? No, 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 so that's what I say. This, I say this it, is what Islam that teaches. I say it to engage. Yeah, and we're engaging okay. and I appreciate the conversation. And I think there's a few points you've mentioned and I want to make sure that I address all of them before you leave, right? No, 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 fine. No, so, no I'm very interested. I shall be reading. No, 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 I'm glad, I'm glad. So, um, I, can't, the prophet, I can't, there's also I can't say I'll, con I'll convert, but no, I'm... No. I'm I'm very interested in theology and all mm. of that sort of stuff. Mm, 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 mm. And I think it's worth knowing that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, because we, we, you, you brought up this point. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he spoke Aramaic. Yeah? The disciples spoke Hebrew. And the oldest testament oh, we yeah, have... Yeah, that's what makes me laugh. So then when you were talking about translations, yeah, you don't actually like... The Christ Catholics have, I think, 36 books. And then the Christians have 72 books. You know what I mean? Within Islam, we don't have that issue. There's no issue. No, it's just then, like then neither do um, then neither do the Jewish religion. Mm. They they just have the Torah. Like you've got the Quran, mm. they've got the Torah. That's it. Now, Jewish scripture, right? When you read it, the first five chapters, you would actually see contradictions in in regards to um, is written by Moses, but then it's talking about when Moses died and he, where he was buried. So it's like, if it's a first point account of G Moses, yeah, 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 yeah. does it make sense? So that, that's what I'm saying. It, it's, it's difficult to, it should, these two scriptures or three scriptures should not be that, yeah, compared. But, uh, as I say, the, uh, the Christian religion got very fragmented mm. because it was like an amalgamation of lots of different cultures. No, 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 well, let's leave that to one side, but I just want to show you the difference between the Qur'an and the other scriptures. And I think the other point you was making was in regards to um, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, um, having, what, well, ten wives all under the age of seven and so on and so forth, right? And I think it's worth addressing, because like I was saying, um, the Prophet Muhammad's first wife was 15 years his senior. Yeah. But, but also, uh, I just want to address it. No, 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 that's fine. But what I'm saying is that's the general consensus that 90% of our population believe. No, no, but that's misinformation. So then. Oh, well, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and the thing is, the problem is now you've got the internet. Yeah. But then if you Google it. A load of old, Google only has to put one lie out and everyone believes it. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you and put that's the truth out, no one wants to listen. Yeah. But then the, these are things which are factually, you can, you can verify it, does it make sense? It's historical. So all of the wives of the Prophet Muhammad were either divorcees or widows, excluding one. Yeah? And the Prophet, peace be upon him, he actually married her at the age of six. He married her? He married her. He was six? No, no, she was, was six. six. She was six, yeah? And this was... Let me, let me, let me, no, let me, no, no, yeah. no, wait, 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 no, 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 let's leave that, that to one side, frowned upon. let's leave that, <laughs> let's leave that to one side, right, and I'm going to address it, just let me finish, no, 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 fair enough, yeah, she was bound, no, 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 not even that, the fact of the matter is, this was divinely inspired, number one, number two, um, she was actually previously already engaged, yeah, oh, I know. now, Six. being married <laughs> to somebody, yeah, and being engaged, yeah, you can do that, let me finish, let me finish. No, no, I know what you're saying. Wait, 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 There's let a me finish. Big difference, let me finish. But the connotation is it let becomes sexual let in, me finish. in people's heads. Let me finish. Yeah. No, so no, in no, Islam, in Islam, you could get married um, with the consent of the father at any point. So now we have to we have to like see see the conversation, see the details. So we're yeah, at no, a I've, time. I've, 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 I've got a mate who's arranged let, marriages. It's fine, it's fine. No, no. let, let me just make my point, sir. What's your name, by Sorry, the way? John. John. Ridwan. John. All right. Your name? Ridwan. Red one. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Being... So, at first we have to look at the time. So, it was common to get married at that age. Yeah, to yeah, the yeah. point that Aisha Radanha was um, already engaged to somebody else prior to that. Yeah. Now, um, at the time, nobody actually had an issue with this. Uh, everything that people. No, 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 that's the thing. No, no, the I'm time, moving along. I'm, no, 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 I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna address yeah, everything. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just yeah. wanna like tick all the boxes, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, so that that was the norm then, yeah. 
and have all the issues that anyone brought about the Prophet. Oh, um, he's a poet, um, he's a magician, so on and so forth. No one actually rang this as a slander about him. That's number one. So now we've come to the modern day, yeah, where we see this particular issue and it's like, wait. Yeah, but let's talk 1500 years later and obviously yeah, society yeah. has moved yeah. on and done. Yeah. Now, um, so at that age, it was fine at that time, yeah. You're able to marry somebody, yeah. But this is where Islam stands out and gets very technical. You are not allowed to consummate the marriage until until she is she started a puberty both male yeah, and female yeah, 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 started yeah, puberty yeah, yeah. so physically capable but mentally that, that, can, that can still be as young as 12 mentally capable i'm going to address that point oh, as well. okay yeah um mentally capable right and they, you can't cause any harm yeah plus um you need the consent of the oh, guardian well, no, no, of no. the child I'm or the young person or the no, individual who's getting married. No, not even child, excuse me. Different things no, no, no. However, but it has to be consensual and non aggressive. And, and plus, -aggressive. you remind me, it has to be consensual as well. So now, they can get married at whatever age. Yeah, yeah. Now, when it comes to the point of well, um, I consummation. I remember when I was five, yeah. technically, like just being a yeah. silly little kid, do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, marry me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Also, no, 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 but that, that, that's what we go into, um, and that's a valid point you remind me, that look, consent is necessary as well. Mm -hmm. So you need to be of sound mind, give consent, because there was times of the Prophet where the oh. marriages got, cons um, got annulled due to the fact that the woman changed her mind. Oh, she could change her mind. She's allowed she to change her mind. Yes, 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 yes. And there's narration of these things, right? Where, but um, there's a lot of family pressure. Again, I'm not, I can't judge on individual cases no, no, and family absolutely. cases, no, no, but can't. generally speaking, but now, yeah. you mentioned that, look, people start the puberty as young as 12. Yeah, right? yeah. However, did you know that in hotter countries, closer to the equator, women start the puberty earlier? Yeah, exactly. Nine. No, you, you hear stories of like African girls, nine years old, having babies, you know, fucking nine? There you Sorry, go. part of my... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, 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 that's fine. So, at the end of the day, so now, do you have an issue with some two individuals who are physically capable, mentally yeah, so, yeah, capable? Yeah, right, okay, yeah, I understand what you're saying. Like, oh, I could have got done for being a paedophile. Because I was 17, had a relationship with a 15 year old. But we're Just be through... mindful it's being recorded, yeah? Oh, <laughs> you, you've not seen me. Yeah. No, what do you mean? But, as you say, she yeah. was of sound mind, stuff yeah. like we, we weren't being stupid, we were in a relationship for 18 months. However, in the eyes of the law, exactly. it's wrong. In the UK law, it's different. Absolute, However, absolutely. that being said, you know, in America, in Texas, oh, yeah, you yeah. can get married at the age of 14. Yeah, yeah but, yeah, but you go to another state because there's the yes, yeah, um, yeah, it's Jerry different. Lee, I don't know if you know the story, Jerry Lee Lewis, no. uh, American rock and roll star. Okay, yep. He got married in a state at 14. Mm. Well, she was 14, he was whatever age. Mm. Obviously, he went and toured around America, went to another state, got Arrested. banged up yeah. because they said you can't have sexual relations or whatever until they're 16. Yeah. So he got banged up in another state because he took his legal wife yeah. in Texas with him to another state yeah. and then got banged up because the laws were different. And you're like, well, so he with, didn't actually do anything wrong. In Islam, we see age as arbitrary. So to say, oh, she's 15, she's, she's sound of mind. But they're think, 18, they're sound of mind. But I'm I like, no. The, but, but I think the problem anyway, getting to the crux of the point, because I've got to go home, yeah, my yeah, miss yeah. is going to have a right go. I think the crux of the point is, yes, I act, as you say, but Islam is the largest growing religion in the world. But I think what a lot of people get the amp with is you turn up and then literally, well, what we did back in the, <laughs> back in the, the wars, in the, whatever it was, it, it, I'm Stick glad. I'm glad. I'm glad that you are able to pick oh, up on that without no, me no, pointing no, no, it out. Uh, trust me, the Crusades yeah. was an absolute travesty. Yeah. But that, that's how the world was at that time. 
but uh, and then, then I can also understand on the flip side that you think right well we've been suppressed for so many years now we're going to do that but if you move if, if, if not you I'm talking but like, even even general, Iraq you, you you move somewhere you have to respect the cultures and the behaviours of the people that you've moved into. You can't demand that th this is me, this is what I want, because that's when you, you get all the animosity. Where you say, yeah, well, if you don't fucking like it, go back home. Very narrow-minded, very ridiculous, everybody, whatever, but it's, it's, it's the extremes. It's sort of like, we turn around and say, no, I'm British. See, I'm not allowed, to, in my own country, I can't fly, uh, um, I can't fly a union flag in my garden because it's deemed as being incited. But then my next door neighbour can put whatever flag up, if they're different, and I have to accept that. And it's, it's like, well, no, it, there's got to be some sort of middle ground. I accept you, you accept me. I'm not trying to impose myself on you. You shouldn't be imposing yourself John, we on need, me. We need to make it clear, like, but British there values. Are elements. What, what, there are what, elements what, what, what are British values? Do, do I have the right to say that, okay, this is what I believe and I'm going to practice what I believe? Or do I have to conform to the country we're in? No, is it is it British values no, to be no, accepting no, of no, everyone? No, what I'm saying is it's, it's As, respect. You don't have to agree. Mm. You don't have to agree. You don't have to conform. You you can be who you want to be. You're contradicting yourself, John. No, 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 no. no. What Go I'm on. saying is, it's, it's respect. Okay, and I agree. And you, I don't. You can do whatever you want to do, but don't. But what I'm saying is, then don't turn around and demonize me because my beliefs or my whatever is different to you mm. and i don't is, think i don't think do islam get does that, that in some no not i'm, I'm going to speak you. i'm, I'm going to not, not myself i'm going to speak in behalf are, of islam and i think i think and i think again i don't think that's true like about that. bradford i think this is being misrepresented because you know we're it's talking about we're Sharia. Demanding right? Sharia law and stuff. What, Sharia, no, you're but in I would Britain. Say, but you're I would by say British you, law. You don't even know what Sharia is. You know when it comes to um, child tax, child tax credit, hmm. right? Umar ibn al Khattab. Oh no, no, right. You can, you can. No, no, no. These, these are these are Islamic tell, philosophies exactly, and so on and so forth. No, do you know what I mean? You could tell me your beliefs and your interpretations but they're very different to someone else see so, do you believe that all women should be fully burkered i believe all women all men should follow the commandments of god yeah but that's what i'm saying see so, like so what what, what, some, what issue some just wear the face here what some issue would that. you have some some have the letterbox and yeah but so what what is your belief your your interpretation, how should, and women walk 10 paces behind a man. Again, what you're doing is, is very... I don't know, um, I'm miserable. simplifying stuff. No, it's not even that, because I'll be honest with you, you're not the first person to say these. And these elements are not in Islam. The dress code is there, yeah? Now, how they choose to cover. Did you know right now, if there was a woman to run up and down Whitechapel, wearing nothing but shorts, what would happen to her? As an Islamic woman, or as, as a, a white, woman. white, Caucasian, but British, well, she English would woman, she'd probably get clapped by all the men. Would she not get arrested? Probably are, not. Are women allowed to walk around in just shorts, not cover the top? Oh, what with the boobs out? Yeah. No, that's public indecency. There you go. She would get arrested. Yeah. Yeah, but so, that's, that's that's very different than covering yeah, all your face and just having your eyes showing. John, 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 John. You have to realise. No, the law saying, it's interpretation if you walked around with nothing but just your shorts what would happen nothing, nothing. so the law of this yeah, land not sexual organs law of this <laughs> land stipulates that women have to cover more than men and i'm saying yeah, the law of know. god is above and beyond and knows the creation that's what I'm saying. it's the interpretation best. no no knows How the much creation do they cover up there you go now who's to judge I'm saying God is to judge. So right now, yeah, but God's not sitting on a chair, throwing out sentences. What do you mean? Of course not. So the fact of the matter is God's guidance. So now, 
I was speaking to a French lady, and she was telling me how um, white French, yeah, Christian, yeah, yeah, lady. yeah, 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 yes, 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 and she was saying to me how um, she's liberating Muslim women in France, yeah, but that yet yeah, because they've got well, well what is she from Paris? Oh, okay. Wherever I can't remember now, yeah. And my response to her because they've got the burqa ban and so on and so forth, I said to her, "Thank you for liberating." Are my Muslim sisters by telling them what they can wear and forcing them to wear what they don't want to wear. If that's your idea of liberation, keep it to yourself, madam. We don't want to be liberated. How dare you, the audacity? That's what I'm saying. So, so yeah, I'm not going to, you know, I've been brought up and it's mm. nature and nurture. Mm. Now, I can tell you stories of why um, Western, what's it called? Eastern European women, right? who was in the full covered head to toe, all you could see there was the eyes. The Somali tell lady was narrating the story oh, to me. Somalians, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Literally. She was telling me the story of this white woman who she greeted in the Arabic words. And the white lady didn't respond and said, oh, I'm not, I don't speak Arabic. Yeah. She goes, wait, you're dressed like this and you're not even Muslim. Because I'm not speaking Arabic, I'm giving you the greeting. This is a Muslim greeting. So she chose. Muslim, Muslims are religion, we say, not a language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's my point. She was a non Muslim who was covered head to toe, and all you could see was her eyes. And she said, I dress like this so I don't get treated like a piece of meat everywhere. Yeah, so, so that's what I'm saying. That's so who's right. to say? See, that's where. That's what I'm and saying. And why are the it's Western women. If it's, if, if it's enforced and they're told. You're you making a separate point like now. Huh? You're making a separate point now. Sorry. I've got to go anyway. No, 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 because the fact of the matter is, at the end of the day, your issue isn't in regards to the dress code. Your issue is in regards to freedom, to choose. Absolutely. Yeah. If you're uh, told you've got to do that, and if you don't, you'll get punished, yeah. that's different. Than, um, okay, um, yeah, I'm there saying might be a large we, majority of We are that, not allowed to say, dictate that. I'm saying God, who created everything, who owns everything, has the right to say, these are the consequences of your actions and so on and so forth. This is right and this is wrong. As human beings who don't have objective morality, we can't say this is right or wrong. So just very quickly, I've got seriously, yeah, yeah. I've got to go, I'm gonna let you go. go yeah. mental. So when you say about the dress code, is that purely to resist, to refrain the temptation of man against the woman? No. So, so you must I? hide. Because obviously, I, I presume when they go into their marital home, they're like, that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what so, I mean? But walking around, yeah. they can't be a temptation for someone else. Again, Islam doesn't teach this. Islam says that, look, the dress code is there, um, A, as a commandment from God. Secondly, so they can be recognized as Muslims. Does that make sense? So I don't think it's not for men to control the desires. The Quran actually stipulates to say to the believing men, lower your gaze. So the men are told not to look. Yeah, because it's temptation. Yeah. No, no, not yeah, for, yeah, yeah. for that. Don't look. Because yeah. the fact of the matter is, when you see something attractive walking past, first thing it does, it enters yeah. your heart. Yeah. Yeah. And then it may lead to other things. Yeah. So yeah. say to the believing men, so that's what lower. I'm saying. Is that dress code done? Let, to let me finish them. Deny the desire. No, 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 it's not. So that, that's my point. <laughs> that's the byproduct. It's to it's a commandment of God. Plus, um, it's so Muslim women, the, if the dress code is there, so Muslims can be recognized. Now, when it talks about the believers, men, it says, look, for the men to lower the gaze and protect the modesty, right? And then it says to the women to lower the gaze and protect the modesty. So it's not like, oh, men, women have to cover up so then men don't look. No, the first commandment is for the men in the Quran to lower the gaze, not to look. So it's unfair because what ends up happening is you're getting a lot of kind of Western media, this kind of uneducated rhetoric where there's a lot of Islamophobia being implemented because when you see the media, there's a, there's a hate campaign against Islam because it's the only religion that gives a complete way of life and it's changing lives. You're getting women in America, oh, in well, Europe, well, embracing Islam and choosing, Western it, women it, choosing. Is, Islam culture is absolutely mad in America. In what sense, sir? It's exploded, as you say. It's yeah. the most accelerated um, yeah. conversion of religion. There you go. Like even, even, even in Australia, 
It's like they're adopting the dress oh my code. Oh right. They're the most racist. Yeah, but then you still got Muslim people. You got um, Australians who are embracing Islam. So the point I'm trying to make is, um, you have the Quran. Read it with an open mind. I welcome these questions. No, no, and I, I hope. I'll just, I'll, just yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll say something deliberately yeah. to get a response. Yeah. No, no, and I welcome it because the fact of the matter I'm is. I'm not ignorant. I'm not nasty. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and I'll, I'll just throw something in. No, no, like, no. The said, fact of the matter is. But you, I found you're you to be polite. You're, you believe what you believe and. Have I not made and logical and rational oh, points um, which are actually backed up by the Quran? So yeah, it's well, not like. Well, 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 I yeah. shall go home and read it. I've got to go. Yeah, then wipe your hands. It's going to yeah. heal me. Anyway, so no, much, it's been John. an interesting chat. Thank you very much. Yeah. If you want to watch this, you can go to Dawa to the Soul. Oh, well, hang on. Well, I'm going to be online, am I? Yeah, you're on YouTube. Right, how do I do this? Um, what's oh, it called? If you go, no, no. If you go onto your YouTube, I think that might be easier. So if you click on that one, yeah, and then we'll tap it there and we'll go straight for it. Search on it. Something's going on. My phone. We've got really loads of stuff. Right, yeah. Go on. Okay. Whatever it's D -A. called. D A. You type it in, mate. Go on. Um, D A W A H two. Oh, Dawala. Um, Dawa. Dawa two souls. And you can subscribe and... Yeah, turn um, them on. You want to turn them on? Yeah, right. yeah well, interested. Right, turn it on. I don't know what all of this is. Oh, oh no. It's all on now. That's, not me. That's it. Uh, as long know, as I'm not know, paying know. £100 a month. Yeah. And then, yeah, there's a video of me which I like. This one. This is really interesting. When you get a chance, I've watched through that. No, no, I love the butchers. I love butchers. Yeah. Nice. No, Cheers, John. Have a good one. Yeah, I appreciate you stopping. Yeah, no, 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 no